everyone, this is Jeremy. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. This is episode 84. Um, and we're going to try to see what's up with I am proud the Duke to Elton. But I'm afraid we're going to have to like fight a bunch of Flaming Fist. I serve the Flaming Fist. Or is your proper superior? I don't wish to fight you, etc. Okay, so we're gonna do the whole get taken to Angelo thing. So, okay, so we tried those first two. Let's try. I'm gonna try to threaten the shit out of him. Arms and legs are severed, and you're lying on the ground crying like a little baby. Now this is the last lap. Take these imbeciles away. Okay, well that one didn't work. But it also didn't get us like completely destroyed, so Yep. Um Can you not like Why? Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do. Okay, so All right, just talk to him. Need me? Oh, you bet. So that I can we get back in? I want to kill Rasad and. Save Duke Hilton. I want to try to do it without killing 1500 Flaming Fist members. I must talk to you in private. These are you would. times. I have things that you that must be said, things that are important to us both, but I have one condition in my discourse, and you must agree before I speak. A promise I seek, and I will accept no less. Honor my promise as best I can. I thank you. Here's my request, though it may seem to be quite odd. I charge you to defeat Saravok, the man behind all your woes. You must destroy his plans and stop his scheme in its track. You must strip him of the belief that he can succeed in this path he follows. You must do this for me, and you must also leave him his life. I will, I will help him to live his life as a man, not as the god he thinks he can be. Oof. Oof. I do not see how such a thing is possible. He has sought to destroy me, and I have only responded in kind. Saravok seeks to destroy everyone, not just you. You are of particular interest because of your shared origins with him. You are a possible rival, one of the few that are worthy of his personal attention. Above all else, you are family. I see this as startling news, though likely you have success suspected as much. Does this disturb you? It should not. Monsters are often closer to us than we'd like to think. You are siblings, and the paths open to him are yours as well, though he has been racing down his from his earliest days. You had Garion to guide you, did you not? Saravok had no one. He draws his strength from his hatred, from the thought of rising above those he knows to be inferior. His divine blood hungers for conquest, and that is why he must be defeated, but not killed. He serves another, but does not know it. Of what do you speak? The child becomes the father, or desperately wishes so. The blood pulls, calls, and demands. The wise Alondo did say unto the, unto the ages that the lord of murder would perish and his doom would spawn his mortal progeny. Chaos would be sown in their passage, but to what purpose? 
You have felt the hunger and heard the offerings of power. Zaravok thinks they are true, and so he seeks a senseless war and a slaughter of a scale so grand as to defy description. He thinks it will launch him to, to what? Possibly he is right, but I cannot lose him to this. Why do you oppose him when he so clear when you so clearly care for his life? Saravok is I share Saravok's company and would do so until I die, given the choice. That is all you need to know. I would save the man within the beast he wishes to be. I do not believe he will survive his plan. It is all based on conjecture at best. He feels that he has been chosen and that he will become more than he is. I do not share this belief. Gods are not known for bequeathing their powers, especially if they have foreseen their death. Whatever he is, I would have him. He I would keep him here, grounded firmly among those of us that are all flesh. I will strive to stop him and will do what I can to see that he lives. I thank you. Saravok can be redeemed, as could you should you ha one day pursue the same path. For now I shall speak of secrets to aid you. Duke Elton may be saved, but Duke Intar Silvershield has been killed outright. The murderers have acted with anonymity, but I know who and where they are. You must go to the Undercellar. Return if you have already return if you have already been. There you will find Slythe and Kristen, two unsavory beings that revel in the violence Saravok allows them to commit. They are no more animals than human no more than animals in human guise, even by the standards of the company they keep. Kill them, and you shall know much of the plan. If you do not know where the Undercellar is located, then go to the sewers. You will find an entrance there. For your help, I will seek them out. There is another. Atop the Iron Throne base is a woman whose, whose influence is a poison in Saravok's soul. If she were removed, I know he would listen to reason, to my pleading. Sithandria is her name, and she holds much power in this matter. She seeks Saravok's favor as well, though she is content if he self-destructs, so long as she profits in the deed. I must go. He cannot know I have helped you. Oh, you bet. I want to say there is a yep. sewer passage here. So we'll go try to do the underseller stuff first. Okay, where the fuck are we? Ah, underseller is up oh, there, bet. right? That's concerning. Pretty sure this leads into a little secret base area. The backside. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Oh no, this leads into the iron throne. Then how about this? You must gather your party before venturing. We'll see where this goes. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hmm. Here we go. Right. Killer. Yep. Look at Kristen, honey. It's the heroes of the Sword Coast. They're the real deal. Got a tongue of steel and a heart of gold, my Kristen does. And she's so pretty that she makes herself all invisible so guys don't have to hassle her. Not that they would have a wood with a tough guy like me looking at her, of course. Lithy, baby, you tell him, honey. Oh, baby, you know me. You're, you know you're slighty. Jeez, this is, this is like... Vomit. <laughs> hey, you, don't you go watching us go all mushy, all right? Ain't none of your business. What's that you're whispering, sweetheart? Hey, now, my girl Kristen tells me that you have a soft spot for the Grand Dukes. There is a shame about Intar Silvershield, isn't it? One down and two to go. Poor Dukes. 
could have been better if they'd all died together. Ah, Kristen, don't get it all away like that now. Gone. What do they call it again? The silver bladder? Ah. Enough of this cat and mouse stuff, anyhow. Ain't cut out for it. We'll kill him now and then do the dukes after lunch like Saravok said to said us to. Okay. Toss down one of these. Let's toss. Let's try to get him healed up. Load oh. okay. here. I don't know that we have to do terribly much. So we'll do a... Oh, there she is. Have fun with your globe of invulnerability. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna smack the shit out of you a bunch. How'd that work out for you? Hmm, seems not well. Okay, so... In the wrong spot. I dropped something. So many freaking things. Can you pick it up for me? Clairvoyance, cool. Bullet twos, bullet... One short sword identify the shadow's blade plus three a short sword of backstabbing shadow's blade was created to be a perfect assassin's tool it is highly sought after by any who settle differences with the blade and many that possess it do not do so for long so we so no one can use this she can't she legitimately can't use a short sword unfortunate unfortunate scarpy the grave binder Discovered relatively recently by adventurers in the south, the abilities of this weapon went unknown for several years. Magical tomes eventually revealed its extensive history as an assassin's tool, and it was dubbed the Gravebinder. It was stolen soon after. And a sling plus one. Um, I will actually... Hold on to it. Uh, Gravebinder can go over here. 
she's got a plus two dagger already. Anything better about this? The 1d6. Why is this one better? This one. Okay. This is an invitation to the inauguration of the newest Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate. It will be held at the Ducal Palace. Present this invitation to the guard at the gate and you will be allowed entrance. This looks like an important note, one you should hold on to. Slythe, the time to strike is now. When the party commences on the night of my coronation, you will join up with the doppelganger assassins at the sewer entrance to the palace. You are to insinuate yourself into the crowd in the ballroom. When I finish my speech, you will strike. If you aren't there, my doppelgangers will proceed without you, and your payment will be forfeit. Make sure to keep a leash on your little bitch of a wife. As invitation to the party, an invitation to the party is included with this note. Sarabok. <sighs> cool. Uh -huh. Need me? Okay. So, you must gather your party before venturing forth. Now, right. we want to head down here. I want to look this up real quick. I want to see do we head. About Oshad. Okay. That gives me no real information. We're gonna we're gonna head down here. We're going to see how this kind of like works out. We're going to try to go into the Flaming Fist's headquarters and see if we can't save Duke Elton by defeating Rashad. Um, I don't know. Tamoko. We're going to see... Bet. All this goes. Sorry, friend, but you've got a date. Benji, what foolishness is this? Are you trying to storm the Flaming Fist compound? You'll find no friends here, Latia. Angelo now commands the Flaming Fist. Dukes, friends of Duke Elton, can only expect death from Angelo's new order. Two arms, two arms, Latian cohorts. Ah, oh, Benji. No, no. Even these aren't even like uh, flaming fists. These are just mercenaries. Am I really gonna win this? I'm literally not I'm not doing anything. Wow, you guys suck. I literally I didn't even do anything. Do anything. 
That's how that's how crappy you guys are. I guess I'm gonna just once they come out of their stupor, I will uh, summon a dryad and have a dryad mass cure us. Much better. Um, okay, we're just gonna... Floor. Every crime must be punished. Kent. I want to talk to you. What is it you want, Kent? I remember the bunch of you from when you worked for Scar and Elton. Well, since you've been gone, things have gone downhill. Elton's taken ill and he's resting in the room beside us. His healer, Rashad, keeps on saying things that they're saying that there's nothing he can do, but I know better. He's no healer from what I've seen. Anyhow, it don't matter. I've decided to desert the Flaming Fist before things get too hairy. I don't want to lose my life over whatever power struggle is going on in the city. Why don't you think Rashad's a healer? I followed him one night, all the way into the sewers. There he went into the undercellar. Why would a healer be found in a whorehouse? Hold up. Hold up. There are many reasons to assume or believe that Rashad is not a healer. But him, but him going to a whorehouse is not one of them. Even healers need... <laughs> Hold up a minute. Oh... All right, get out of here, Kent. Um, you bet. We know who you are. I'm, a, I'm again in your debt. That creature has kept me helpless for too long. Perhaps if I hadn't been incapacitated, I might have been able to prevent Scar's death. Angelo will soon hear of my recovery. It is important that you take me away from here. I'm sure Angelo won't want me coherent and among the living. Take me to the Harbor Master's building. The Harbor Master is a good friend of mine. I can rest there until I'm fully recovered. Take this letter. I managed to filter it off Rashad when he was caring for me. From what I've read of it, it seems that Saravok has dire plans for the city. I fear for the lives of my fellow dukes, Leah and Belt. If they were to die, Saravok would take over the city. We must find Slythe and Kristen and stop them. Hurry, we must make haste. Awesome. Okay, well, we already did that. We gotta take him to the Harbor Master. Do I have Duke? Ah, oh, god damn it. Fucking game. Alright, time to, time to send potions. We'll start with the hill giant. Oh, he's already got a stone giant. Oh, we'll start with the hill giant. Um, mm -hmm. alright, let's heal some don't really have much healing. Not a lot. Okay. Let's see if we can't get Right. 
Alright, so in theory, we're still trying to avoid flaming fist members. So we could head up here and gather your party before venturing forth. Yep. Oop. Just nope. Not that one. Oh shit. Fucking spider bros. Okay, so let's see about this. Where are we at now? Okay, definitely not that one. Um, let's come down here. Proud to stand among such strong warriors. Yep. Definitely not that one. What about this one? Uh that one either. Let's head down here, shall we? You must gather your party before venturing. So basically, we're trying to find our way to the harbor. Now there's, there's a fucking, there's a thing yep. that pops out yep. right over by the harbor master's building. Looking for that one. I serve the flaming fist. Not so much lost as curious, officer. Have you any news on how close we are to war with Om? On the brink, I reckon. Angelo has been mobilizing the wolf fist for war and equipping us with solid weapons forged from good old iron throne ore. Good thing that Angelo has such close ties to Saravok or we'd be lost. And a good thing he's here to take command too with Duke Elton sick. One of the Dukes is sick? With what? Oh, I don't know. I can't be serious. His cleric Rashad is caring for him. If you wish to visit him, he's in the ruins of the Flaming Fist compound. I like how just that flaming fist wasn't a shitbag and immediately trying to kill me. Okay. Hey, we made it to the harbor master. By the bitch queen's breath. That's Duke Elton you have with you. Looking in a bad way. Leave him here with me and I'll make sure he's alright. You're the people who've been working for Scar and Elton against the Iron Throne. Well, I'm sure you have much to do, so you should get a move on it. Don't worry about Elton. Good care of him. Gotta get him to a safe place, so good luck. Okay. Oh, you bet. Can I sleep in here? Right. I've gotta find a fucking inn to rest at. So... Oh, you bet. Maybe I can make it inside this one. It's crossed. Oh, you bet. Okay. Tonight you sleep hunted by all, and wake in a dream hunted by one. Tonight you are the monster everyone claims you are, the kobold scorned like a rodent, the ogre that children fear comes in the night. The mobs and their torches now come for you, counting you among the creatures you once did hunt, or so someone would have you believe. Once again, you'll hear the voice, a voice that now makes no secret of its origins. It speaks of destiny and nature, and of evils bred in the bone. It says you will never be free of the mob, that they will hunt you for what you are. 
Murder and death run through your heart, and accepting that will supposedly give you power. The essence of Baal within you cannot be ignored. But you have not ignored it. You realize that from the first you have fought the very blood in your veins, fought dagger and claw for each victory, and ultimately you have triumphed. With righteous will, you have turned the dark forces within you to good purpose. Whatever the foundation of your being, you have remade yourself in your own image. Yeah! Amidst threats it does not yet know are empty, the voice tries to play upon your doubts, but finds none. Fuck you! As you stare unwavering, the presence grows weaker and weaker. As it fades from your mind, one warning does stand out amidst the din. It speaks of others that will listen where you have not. Others that will embrace what you have rejected, and others that will be your death. This describes but one man, and you know of no other it could be. He who orchestrated your fall, deceived your comrades, and deserves all that your justice shall meet upon him, Sarabak. He is a debt that must be paid to the whole of the Sword Coast. You awake sure of your cause and of what must be done. Wow. Fuck yeah. Nice. Okay. So. Ooh, I gained a new ability. An, or mm, a second use of an ability. Oh my goodness. Ooh. All right. Fucking cool shit. We are that much closer to the end of the game. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And that is going to be it for this video. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.